I can remember in kindergarten when my teacher asked my classmates and me what we'd like to be when we grew up, which profession we'd choose if we had to choose right then. I immediately put my hand in the air and I told her that I would like to be a doctor. Around the same time, I would also wear a toy stethoscope around my neck and I would go basically everywhere with it. I would stop people and ask to hear their heartbeats. I was just pretending to be a doctor when I wasn't even close. I was just a little kid. <clears throat> As I grew, I really decided that medicine wasn't really for me. The lifestyle of a doctor, late hours, uh, that just isn't something that interests me. Um, but I did start to go towards photography and I traded my toy stethoscope for this camera right here. I first got interested in photography when I was about nine and I got this camera when I was about 11 and that really kind of solidified my interest. Um, this camera really taught me a lot. It forced me to learn the mechanics of cameras and the technicalities of shooting. Um, also taught me how to work with film, which is something that not many people use these days. Um, I really enjoy photography. It's something that takes my mind off things. It's a kind of an outlet for me to express my creative side. I was thinking about making it my profession, but I decided that I didn't want to mix something I loved so much with the stress of business. Um, especially since I feel photography is best when it comes naturally. Artificial photos do not really they do not really garner any emotional response. If so, it's a little, or it's, that's my opinion. I feel that if they come naturally, they have more emotion because they're real. Um, I'm kind of like a camera in some ways. I'm pretty observant. I also see things in a different perspective maybe I'll see something small that no one else will see or I'll just see something in a different way um, unfortunately I'm also a little shy and if any of you and I really don't like to be uh, noticed that much well not really noticed but I don't really like to be the center of attention that often but um if any of you have studied photography, you would know that some of the best photos taken have been when the camera has been unseen, especially when it comes to Henry Cartier Brinson. He was the founding father of photojournalism, and he never, he tried to never be detected. He always just snapped as he walked. Um... One thing that he said was, above all, I craved to seize the whole essence in the confines of one single photograph of some situation that was in the process of unrolling itself before my eyes. And that's something I really relate to because, like I said before, I feel that photos are much better when they're real and spontaneous. And it also makes it a little more fun and more challenging. Um, a philosophy of mine is that memories are very important and of course cameras are perfect for that, taking photos. Those memories are kept forever in their exactness, basically. Um, all of these characteristics define me as a person and they basically tell you about my personality and my interests. Uh, basically, again, I'm just kind of a shy guy, and I take a unique uh, point of view on things, or I try to, and I try to take a unique approach on most situations. 
Um, also, I try to be as open-minded as possible so I can take in as much as the world of the world as I can. Thank you, and I'll talk to you later.